rough idle, that annoying shake through your steering wheel, the RPMs surging and dropping like your engine can't make up its mind, maybe it even feels like it might stall when you're stopped at a light. It's frustrating, it's distracting, and for most drivers, it's a mystery. But what if I told you that in the vast majority of cases, fixing a rough idle doesn't require expensive diagnostic fees or complex repairs? What if the solution is often a simple, overlooked maintenance procedure you can perform at home in under 30 minutes? Today, we're diving deep into the throttle body reset, a critical step most DIYers and even some mechanics skip, leading to ongoing problems. This isn't just cleaning, this is recalibrating your engine's brain for smooth operation. Let's get started. Think of your throttle body as your engine's air traffic control. It's that metal tube right between your air filter and intake manifold with a butterfly valve inside. When you press the gas, valve opens wide. At idle, it opens just a crack. We're talking paper-thin precision here. But over time, gunk happens. Oil vapors, carbon, dirt, it builds up on that valve and it's bored. Suddenly, that perfect, crack, for idle, jammed or restricted, your AQ freaks out, airflow gets chaotic. See this nightmare? This is why your car shakes. But cleaning it alone isn't enough. The secret sauce is the reset, forcing the AQ to relearn that perfect idle position. And that's what they don't tell you. The most crucial safety step comes first. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. Locate your battery. Identify the negative terminal. It's usually marked with a minus sign and often has a black cable. Using the correct size socket, typically 10 millimeters, loosen the nut, carefully twist the terminal clamp, and lift it completely off the battery post. Secure it away so it cannot accidentally make contact. Why is this critical? Three reasons. First, it prevents any chance of electrical shorts while we work. Second, it protects the delicate throttle position sensor and motor from voltage spikes. Third, and most importantly for our fix, disconnecting the battery resets the ACU's volatile memory, clearing those old, corrupted idle adaptations. This is the foundation of the reset process. Leave it disconnected for at least 15 minutes to ensure capacitors fully drain. Use this time to gather your other tools and locate your throttle body. Finding your throttle body is straightforward. Trace the large air intake tube running from your air filter box towards the engine. The throttle body is the metal housing where this tube connects directly to the intake manifold. It will have an electrical connector plugged into it. That's the throttle position sensor TPS and often the idle air control motor wiring. Before we remove anything, take a moment to visually inspect the surrounding hoses and vacuum lines for any obvious cracks or disconnections, as vacuum leaks are another common cause of rough idle. Now, let's gain access. Carefully unclip the electrical connector from the throttle body. Press the locking tab firmly and pull straight back, don't yank on the wires. Some models may have a wiring harness bracket, unclip that too. Next, loosen the hose clamp securing the air intake tube to the throttle body neck. Once loose, gently twist and pull the intake tube backward to detach it. Immediately place a clean lint-free rag or shop towel over the now exposed throttle body opening. This prevents any accidental drops of debris or tools from falling into your engine's intake, a potentially catastrophic mistake. Carbon buildup inside the throttle body, especially that black, sticky coating near the edges of the throttle plate and board, restricts airflow and disrupts idle. Never spray cleaner directly into the board while the plate is closed, as it can seep past seals and damage internal components like the throttle motor or IAC valve. Instead, wear gloves and safety glasses, spray throttle body cleaner onto a microfiber cloth, not into the throttle. Gently press the plate open with your finger and wipe the backside of the plate and surrounding bore wall thoroughly. Focus on the area where the plate closes and around any small bypass holes near the edge. For tough deposits, use a soft toothbrush sprayed with cleaner and scrub gently, then wipe clean. Avoid anything abrasive. Your goal is a smooth, residue-free surface. Keep wiping until the cloth comes away clean. Cleaning is done, but the reset is what makes it work. Start by reconnecting the air intake tube to the throttle body and tighten the clamp. Plug the electrical connector back in until it clicks. Now reconnect the negative battery terminal and tighten it. This resets the AQ. Get in the driver's seat, turn the key to the on position, but don't start the engine. Wait for 60 seconds. You may hear faint clicks or motor sounds. This is the throttle body resetting itself. 
After 60 seconds, turn the key off and wait another full minute. This gives the AQ time to save the new idle settings. Don't rush. This step is key to smooth idle and proper throttle response. Start the engine, but don't touch the throttle. This part is critical. Let the engine idle on its own. It may rev high, surge, or sound rough at first. That's normal. The AQ is relearning how to manage idle air and fuel flow with the clean throttle body. Leave it completely alone for at least 5 minutes, ideally 10. During this time, the system is adjusting throttle position, fuel trims, and sensor readings. Interrupting this by pressing the gas can ruin the process and cause rough idle later. Set a timer, walk away, and let the AQ do its job undisturbed. After the 10-minute idle, take the car for a gentle drive. Keep it smooth at first. Try to include stop and go traffic and some steady highway speeds for 15 to 20 minutes. This helps the AQ fully adapt to the clean throttle body. Then stop in a safe place, shift to park or neutral, and check the idle. It should now be steady, smooth, and vibration-free. If throttle buildup was the cause, the issue should be resolved. Still have a rough idle? Don't worry. This reset is essential, but not a magic fix for everything. Start by checking for trouble codes with an OBD2 scanner. Codes for MAF sensors, O2 sensors, misfires, or EVAP issues can all affect idle. Next, inspect for vacuum leaks. Spray carb cleaner around vacuum hoses and intake gaskets. If RPM jumps, there's a leak. Clean the MAF sensor carefully, and check your spark plugs, coils, and fuel delivery. A weak pump or clogged filter can cause idle issues. Also, make sure the EGR valve isn't stuck open. You've just done more than a cleaning. You've helped your car relearn how to breathe. This full reset forces the AQ to recalibrate based on clean airflow, just as it's designed to. It's not a hack. It's solid, professional practice backed by factory service manuals. If this helped, hit like and subscribe. We always upload guides that skip the fluff and show you real, proven fixes. Got a question? Drop it in the comments. Helping you fix your car right is what this channel is all about.